Uh oh. Not good. Whoa, that's not good either. Oh, that's not good either. Oh, that's not good either. Hi, everybody. Betty had a bad day. I knew we had a light cylinder. Uh, I had to keep running her. I couldn't afford to down her at the time. Uh, work schedule would not allow it. And... I had to push her. And now... I gotta put an engine in her. And we can rebuild it. I can bore that out and start from scratch. But the time window that I have to get her back on the road. I tore her down yesterday morning. Uh, I came out. 7 a.m. and diagnosed her and by 20 to 11 I was standing on a job. I had to tear her down, find out what was going on, pulled the head off of her. I figured that it chipped a piece out of an exhaust valve and that's what she did but I did not expect uh, to see a melted down piston. So the only thing I can think of is because the exhaust valve only chipped itself out. It was still fueling in there, it was still firing in there. Like I said, it had a light cylinder. There was not a dead miss. Uh, and with her exhaust on it, it's really hard to tell when something's not going right. Let's put it that way. Uh, I just knew she was getting weak. So I think it was actually leaning itself out. On the intake stroke, I think it was actually pulling dirty air back in through that exhaust valve the piece it was missing i might be wrong but this is what my thought process is and she leaned herself out and that's what melted that one down but either way i could repair it i'm going to repair that one i'm going to pull it out and bore it build me a new one put it in the shed but for my window of having her down i had to buy a used engine I gotta go and pick it up and probably this weekend I will be putting a transplant doing a transplant operation on Betty get her back out from a lovely organ donor she's got one coming out of a 1990 C70 uh, it's down in Maryland I gotta go down and pick it up so that way hopefully I can have to uh, Betty back to work on Tuesday uh, like I said, she's got to go. So, but uh, to get you guys caught up a little bit, uh, as a little Komatsu, a PC-138. Um, there are only three intact rings, compression rings, left out of the eight that should be in it so we lost five rings there's a little bundle of rings laying in there don't mind the, all the mess scattered on the workbench but we're busy 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 um we got six and a half cylinders sitting here we have seven cylinders to rebuild i have another cylinder out in the back of my truck which makes eight uh these are off of a piece uh not a pc a 155 a 155 Komatsu crawler, dozer. Uh, so I gotta get them out. And you can see we're still in my little tiny shop. But we've all been, we've been running good. We've been running hard. We've been running uh, three trucks. So we're down to two, which kind of puts a dampener on things. We won't be down to two for long. Because we got a lot of work we gotta get accomplished and 
this upcoming week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we're going to be doing Saturday, and probably Sunday, you don't know, but uh, we're going to try to jam six or seven days into, which would be a four-day week, um, companies are, after the holiday, some of their operators are going on vacation, so we've had some band-aided machines that have been running through, they won't let us down them to do repairs, but we can grab them after Monday which the window of opportunity to repair them is not there because we got too much work but i'm not complaining uh too much work is a good thing but it still can be a problem but other than that we've been going strong uh <laughs> this week's been horrible for our equipment uh, sent harley out monday i had to go and pull a counterweight on an excavator Pulled a counterweight on it. We swapped jobs. That was that one. Um, they came in with Harley, the orange truck, and finished the job with that one. I called them up. How you doing? Oh, everything's good. Uh, I should be coming down through in the next hour or so. Roger that. He calls me up and says, I got good news and bad news. I'm like, what's the good news? He said, engine's in the back of the truck. Good. What's the bad news? He said, Truck sitting alongside the interstate. So, drive what I'm doing, go get my pickup truck, go get the gooseneck trailer, go winch the service truck on my three quarter ton with the engine, with that little bugger in the back. Bring that one down, so we repaired that one Monday night. Tuesday tore that down, ordered all the parts. They should be here tomorrow, so I can slap that back together this weekend. Uh, looking for an installation of Tuesday on that. Wednesday on those cylinders laying there and we have two undercarriages that we have to do uh, One's on a 335 one's on a 325 complete undercarriages uh, We have a stick change from uh, John Deere 350 355 I don't remember we got to put a Hitachi long reach on it which they've already taking the boom off and they drove away from it so now it's they don't have the machinery to put it back on so we'll have to figure that out and do what we got to do to get that back together uh we have two line boring jobs for next week uh 470-7 they're both 470-7s as a matter of fact so one is a z link and one is a wishbone dog link so, but that's what we've been doing and that's, we've been staying busy. We are totally up against right now. But I wanted to get on here, I haven't been on in a while and I wanted to wish all of you guys a happy Labor Day. I want you to be safe this weekend and be safe next week after the weekend. Wish you all well. Y'all have a good night, good weekend and enjoy. See ya.